When you see a website like this, you might think, wow, this is really nice. This was probably built by a page builder. And it turns out it was, but not the one you think. This was built with Gutenberg. Not really a page builder, but pretty close, especially when you add the get wid add-on, which is completely free. You can find it in the WordPress repository. It gives you over 40 more custom built, very nice looking blocks that you can use to create page builder style pages using Gutenberg. In this video, I'm gonna show you all the options you have for those blocks. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get back to this video. I've also linked to this page in the description down below. So if you wanna check out this page directly, make sure you do that. We're gonna start on blocks one in the menu up here. Let's go to icon. We have icon blocks. These are not uncommon if you have you've been using a page builder for any amount of time, but they are uncommon for Gutenberg and GetWid really levels up your Gutenberg building capabilities. The icon box has a lot of nice looking layouts and options. The image box, like I said, these are very common amongst page builders, but if you wanna use something like Gutenberg and not use a page builder at all, these things are not as common. And with the latest update to GetWid, you can actually turn on and off which blocks you want to use on your site and which ones you don't, therefore making your site load faster because it's not loading all the information needed to build all the blocks just for the ones that you're actually using on the page. So that's a great addition to the, in the latest update. Social links, of course you can style these, you can change the colors, you can change the layouts, the spacing and all that stuff. This is just an example of what you can make with all these blocks. And in a previous video, I've actually gone ahead and built an entire page builder style page in the Gutenberg editor using GetWid. You can tell you that tutorial up here in the card up above or in the description down below. I walk you through the entire process of building a beautiful page with GetWid and even importing demo data and showing you how to install the plugin and all that stuff as well. So, so make sure you check out that video. Here we have great hover effects on these images. You can have a video banner Very nice, very nice, especially when you consider Gutenberg can't do a whole lot out of the box. These days when you, ex when you have page builders, you expect them to be able to do a lot. Gutenberg really can't <laughs> until you add add-ons. Image slider WordPress block is an image slider. And it does exactly what you'd expect. It slides through images. Button groups provide button layouts. You have a spacing. So if you wanted three buttons, you want them to take up 100%. You assign 33% to each one or 25% to each one. If you have four buttons, you get the idea. Stack gallery is a nice way to lay out your images, even with overlays. Nice, interesting way to have images shown on a page. The Instagram integration pulls in data from your Instagram account and puts it onto your WordPress site, including the number of hearts, likes, and comments. And I'd love to hear your opinion on whether Gutenberg could actually compete with real page builders in the future. Let me know in the comments down below. If you have any other questions at all, please leave them down there as well. I'll try to answer them the best I can, but I'd love to know if you think Gutenberg could actually one day be at the level to compete with existing page builders. The advanced spacer allows you to adjust spacing. Might seem like something minor, but it's not very well built into Gutenberg, and it's definitely something you need to properly lay out a page. Video pop-up, you click on any one of these video buttons and a video player pops up. You even have a full section horizontal banner. The video pop-up in there. Have it on a poster image like that. A bunch of different ways to activate the video pop-up, which is quite a nice feature. We can have full video sections, as in the video is the background, and we have text and a button overlaid. It's even parallaxing, possibly. Can't tell, because the video is moving. Maybe there's parallax for the video, maybe there isn't. Can't really tell. There's also a section with a slider in the background. This image should slide, there it goes, fading into a different one. And we have buttons and text overlaid. We have media and text slider, where we have a background image and text and buttons over top. Very nicely done, they, they, just look, they look nice and clean. There's not much else I can say. They really level up Gutenberg's ability. 
Google Maps integration, you can have a standard Google Map, you can have different styles, different ways of having the map appear, like the ultralight style you see here. In the other video I mentioned earlier, I show you a whole bunch of different styles and how to apply them, even how to find unique styles on a website online, copy and paste the code from there, and you can have the absolutely crazy map styles, map designs. And check out that video in the card up above if you want to see how that works. The advanced heading, we can choose different fonts for the headings. The accordion gives us accordions. And again, these things are not uncommon. GetWid and Motopress did not invent these, but these are not native in Gutenberg. And so having this one add-on added to Gutenberg adds a lot of functionality, a lot of flexibility in designing a great looking website inside Gutenberg without having to resort to a page builder. There's also tabs instead of an accordion. You can have vertical and horizontal, you can have them left or right. There's toggle options which means they stay open. So instead of like the accordion where the toggle closes or this, the view closes as you click the next one, these ones can stay open and you can open and close them as you see fit. And you also notice the icon changes. Here it's an I, when I click it, it's a question mark. On this one, the icon doesn't change. On this one up here, it does, it goes from plus to minus or minus to plus, depending which way you go. Recent posts shows a layout of recent posts. Very nice. Testimonials, allows you to add testimonials. Person for a team page, right there. We can add countdowns to Gutenberg. These, of course, can be styled as you see fit, but the functionality is there that you don't have to program yourself. You can just enter an end time or an end date, and it will count down to that time or date, and that's great functionality. Under blocks three, we have contact form, this contact form block allows you to add customizable fields, labels, and supports reCAPTCHA. So you don't need a third-party plugin just for a contact form, like contact form 7, for example, which there's a lot of add-ons for, but if you have just contact form 7, it makes just contact forms, and you have that plugin just for that. Or you could just use this form block that comes built into GetWid and save yourself that plugin. The counter counts up to whatever number you want for whatever label you want. Also, whatever speed you want, as you saw, coworkers are going quite slowly at the end. Other ones went a lot faster. Post grid allows you to list posts. You have pagination of your posts. Different layouts for those as well. There's a different layout down below. Post carousel shows a carousel of all your recent posts. So great to have on a home page. Great to have on the top of a blog page places like that. Post slider, same idea, just different layout, different design. Progress bars give you progress bars. You see those on a lot of websites, they're quite nice to have. Price lists give you the ability to add a price list. This, if you expand this, this looks like a very nice looking menu. Just the way it's laid out and designed, it's nice and clean. Here we can have thumbnail images with the prices. Nice looking price list. Price box allows you to have price boxes. And again, the design, the colors, and all that stuff is customizable. You want a text in there is customizable. You can have bullet points here if you want instead of just having text. There's a lot of flexibility in the design. This is just examples of what you can create. Image hotspot. This is something that doesn't even come built into most page builders. You have to get a different third party add on to get this. But as you hover over or click on any of these spots, you have a text pop up. That's called the hotspot, a clickable area that shows information when it's clicked on. It's a nice feature. Content timeline. As we scroll down, see this purple line? It moves as we scroll, it does not stay static. I like that moving moving line feature. It's very nice. I like that a lot. MailChimp integration allows you to collect email addresses, connect that to your MailChimp account. I have a bunch of tutorials about MailChimp itself and how to use it as well. If you want to check those out, they're in the card up above or the description down below. Under pages, we have typography, which shows examples of the typography we can use. Pretty common stuff. 
Again, nothing's been invented here. It's just listing what is possible and how we can adjust things as we want. This is actually not easy to do in Gutenberg right here. Left to line an image and have the text wrap around because of the way Gutenberg is set up with its blocks and its rows, it's hard to have more than one paragraph block wrap around an image. It's not impossible. You can do it with custom CSS, but it's not easy. With this plugin, it makes it very easy. On the blog, we see a nice blog layout, nice and clean. You don't need much more than this for a blog layout. The about page, this shows a very nice layout for an about page. Again, it's like a page builder was used to build this page, and it kind of was, because Gutenberg is getting to the point where with the add-ons available, like GetWid, it could be a page builder in the very near future. Here's their contact page built out. Pretty simple, but it's definitely something that looks very nice and clean. And when I go through these pages, I would not expect this to be created by Gutenberg because I really don't respect Gutenberg very much as far as a page builder goes. But when you have add-ons like GetWid, they can really level up Gutenberg's ability to create great looking pages because a lot of these pages, pretty much all of them, look fantastic. And in the tutorial that I mentioned up above in the card and the description down below, I show you how to install GetWid, how to install the base theme for GetWid in addition to the plugin. Both of them are free. And I show you how to import demo data and customize a page and use all the blocks that are available to you at the time of that recording. And I show you what's possible with GetWid and Gutenberg. And I guarantee you're going to be surprised because you can build great pages just with Gutenberg. So if you want more information about GetWid, make sure you head to the GetWid plugin page. I've linked to this in the description down below as well. A lot of information about it here, even some videos. Make sure you head to this page, getwid.motopress.com, and make sure you head out to the GetWid theme page. It's the base theme for GetWid. It's recommended that you install this when you're using GetWid, but you don't have to, but it's there. And I've linked to that in the description down below as well. So if you like what you saw, make sure you check out this video right here, which I mentioned a couple times in this video. This is the one where I walk through building actual pages with GetWid. So make sure you check that out. And then click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.